morning guys how are you welcome back to my channel you have to go tea with me today are you okay it's empty because this is what i'm going to be crafting with today um, i do have a cup of tea at the side of me just here oh, tea, i love it okay so today i thought i'd make a bird feeder out of my cup and saucer and um, eventually i will be gluing it onto a sauce like that but because it's a bit plain at the moment i want to jazz it up and i've got some beautiful napkins here from Sainsbury's and I just think they are perfect for this project because I think it will make it look so cute and beautiful. Now because I'm going to glue the base of my mug to my saucer I don't want to decoupage underneath because it will stop it sticking properly all right it will tend to come away um, so I'm going to leave a little gap where I'm going to glue it all right so if you wonder why there's a bit of a space that is why, all right? So what I need to do then is to get on and decoupage my mug or cup either. So I'll separate the um, napkins and we'll get started. Right, so to make this easier, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut um, bits of the napkin out and I'm gonna actually decoupage individual pieces as opposed to large pieces. Just because the cup isn't obviously straight and what I don't want to do is to um, have lots of creases in this. So I'm just going to take out some of the strawberries. Um, I mean, if you're brave enough, you can just go for it, but um, I don't think I am. Lose my strawberries. There you go. So twos or ones, it, it doesn't really matter. And then got my Mod Podge, and all I'm going to do, you know the drill, don't you? Get a bit of Mod Podge on your mug, like so. Add a strawberry, and then go over it like that making sure you get all your creases out and it's well stuck down okay let's go for just want to make sure I don't go into the bit where I want to glue it's looking cute already isn't it and you see so let me finish that off and then uh, we'll go on to the next stage Right, so there's my saucer and there's my cup, okay, and I've left the gaps for it, all right. Now I've tried lots of glue and don't use hot glue for this. Um, it works temporarily, but it doesn't hold it permanently. You need something stronger. So I've got this super glue, this Gorilla glue, <clears throat> and you don't need too much. Just need to put a little bit down where you're going to stick the mug. And I always put a little bit on the mug as well just to help it, okay. And then just hold it. Now it takes about 24 hours to dry, okay? This isn't a quick fix. So you now just need to leave that exactly as it is. And hopefully when you come back, everything is glued. All right, so let's uh, come back in 24 hours and see what happens. Right, so that has dried, can you see? And I'm giving it a bit of a coat on top, a bit of varnish. So there's one thing left to do, and every bird needs a little perch. And do you remember a few bits ago, I bought some spoons from Poundland. They're quite thin, but they're suitable for a little birdie. So what I'm gonna do is just glue it on there, and it just gives them somewhere to sit and rest their weary legs. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of glue on the back. Oops, she says. There we go. Finally, and all I'm going to do is just pop it on there, like so, and just leave that to set again overnight, and that's done. And once it's dry, I'll just pop some bird feeder in there and just leave that out for the birds. Now, um, you can hang it through this, just be careful though, because sometimes the weight doesn't hold the saucer, even if you use a super, super glue. 
um, or you can pop it onto a post or just leave it somewhere on the um, borders and the birds will go into it, especially the robins. They are sort of more ground birds and they absolutely love it. So what do you think? I think it's very cute and very quick. Well, I say very quick, it's quick to do, but you do have to leave some drying time in between. That's the only drawback with it. And so you can decoupage it any color or scheme you want. Or if you've got a really nice sort of antique looking um, cup and saucer that doesn't need anything else doing to it, perfect. That's all you need. So that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I hope your little birdies get a little feeder too. All right, guys, so I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers, so I am absolutely over the moon if I can get there. So please click subscribe, notifications, and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, take care.